they spotlighted you a lot on Hard Knocks. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was definitely different um, because you know, with me, it was like if there's any if there's any kind of news around my name in prior dates that it was you know around like me like violating the drug program again or just like you know news like that. So just as far as a more positive thing, it was uh, definitely new territory for me, but. I embraced it and felt like that would have been a cool chance for me to kind of talk about what I've been through and just keep it real and let people know that I'm a human being at the end of the day. I feel like you got a lot of a lot of fans, not just in Oakland, but all around the country. Do you feel that the support is, is there for you? Yeah, I definitely feel it um, as far as, I mean, just like on my Instagram, it's just like a lot of people reaching out, like relating to my story. And that's the kind of stuff that, you know, makes me feel like I'm living with a purpose now. And it's like, you know, when I go out there, I kind of I kind of try to do it for them. You know, I want to enjoy it for myself. Uh, number one, but it's also like representing for them, like, hey, like, there's there's life past that, and there's life beyond what you could ever really imagine. Because I never really imagined myself being in this exact position. So it's like, you know, it's 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 bigger than me. It's bigger than what I'm feeling. It's bigger than what I may be going through. And I always try to keep that on my mind. It just keeps me from being like self centered, like I was before. It just keep it gets me out there and want to help people. And that's what really life's all about. That's what really gives you the most rewarding feeling possible. So I just try to tap into that whenever possible, whether it's going to a meeting, whether it's just having a conversation with someone or um, standing in front of people and speaking to people, sharing my story, like whatever it looks like, whatever that service looks like, um, I'm willing to do it because I know it, it may, it, that's what fills me up and I got to do what you know makes me feel good inside. Was there ever a point where you didn't think your football career would be where it is right now? Uh, yeah. I mean, I felt like when I, like when I was in the practice squad uh, last year, like, even if I got reinstated, you know, I kind of thought, like, I would get an opportunity. And then it was like, no, I was in the practice squad. And then that was for 10 or 11 weeks. And toward the end of that, I was like, man, I don't know. Like, I may not play in the game again, but it's like, at least I gave it a shot. And I was kind of feeling down about it. But then that was like a few days after that, the Raiders had picked me up. And it was just like, if I hadn't been preparing myself, like, with a positive attitude up until that point. Like, of course, there's going to be days where it's like, your attitude is not going to be perfect. But, I mean, that just preparing that way helped me. So when I got to Oakland, I wasn't like, I didn't have to like flip a switch on. Like that switch was already on and I just came in there and just did what I had to do. Ever since I came in, they were just like, hey, we're just going to give you a shot, see what you can do. And it's just like, you know, after all I've been through, it's like a shot is like, you know, I don't even really deserve another shot. It's just like if somebody's willing to give it to me, that's like I'm going to attack it with everything that I got. And that's really what I did. Uh, just give them a chance to really see me for who I really am and uh, just as a human being and it was just an instant click, like from my position coach to the offensive staff to just people on the team in general, the leaders on the team, and, you know, just took off from day one.